Oh, wow. Look at all these beautiful people. Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome. All right. Who has show and tell? And for those of you who were here last week, you know, I can see your hands moving. So I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> Maybe that's why we have so many not showing their faces today. <laughs> Does anybody have show and tell? Anybody working on the Fiberside Chats two projects, crochet or the knitted one? Anybody can put your, do your hand up if we don't see you waving. I'm going to hold mine up because... Oh, you're doing oh, such a great go. job. Love those colors. Thank you. This is here. I'll spotlight myself because I can. I have the power. Here we go. <laughs> uh, this is a yes. uh, yarn that I purchased from uh, from one of the shops. I won't uh, in in a previous chat, and I've been working on the road trip and pattern, and just having a blast with it. Anybody else out there? Okay, okay. I won't take I, I won't be I won't be offended that nobody's doing the pattern that I wrote. <laughs> oh I saw Karen. Uh, well, was not yet. Not yet. I haven't started mine yet. This is Patty. But I do want to know when you're gonna teach that that blanket that you're talking about on your the faded one with the crochet. All right. Well, I'll I'll let you know in particular, Patty, as soon as we've got that going. I'm going to spotlight Karen sure. here because she had her hand up. Yes, I'm doing the Florida road trip. And here is one panel. Wow. And each each I'm doing it with all the different patterns and I'm almost caught up. I was away for a month and I got way behind. But I have been galloping along. And here's the other panel. And next week I put it together into a beautiful triangle. Good work. Love it, Karen. After I cut my paper. Um, Who was that? Was that you, Laura? The leftover. I yes. Um, <laughs> back in the bag. So Perfect. I do put them back in the bag. So I just put those dumping out my paper packs and started using that scrap. Sure is a good feeling. We've got somebody talking, but no, I don't know if they're necessarily talking to us. All right. Anybody else got some show and tell? I see Barb and Gwen are in the audience, and they're always pretty good for some show and tell. Oh. Arletta, you're clapping. Is that a is that also uh, an option to uh, share something with us? <laughs> no, I actually thought it was the raised hand. Sorry, <laughs> but I do have something to show and tell. Yeah, perfect. Since I, oops, now it's not coming out. Um, only when you're trying to do something. Um, since I'm in Hawaii, I actually am knitting a beach pillow. Nice. Arletta, are you coming to us from Hawaii? Yeah, Honolulu. Nice. That's why I don't look like camera ready, because I just got out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. And I see Gwen has her hand up, so I'm going to switch the spotlight over to Gwen. Hi everyone, they're not finished projects, but I am working on some gnomes, this is Noah. And I couldn't decide if I like the brown hat with this beautiful mauve and white. I'm trying to get a better fortune. My light in my room's kind of not great, but it's a beautiful mauve and white with speckles of yellow in it. So I decided that I would do Another Noah with a red hat, again, with this beautiful mauve and uh, yellow and white striped um, yarn. So, I don't know, better one, better two. I think I love them both. <laughs> so, uh, so put your vote in the chat. Is it Noah one or <laughs> Noah two? All right, perfect. I saw another hand go up here. Oh, there we go. Sandy's got her hand up. Let me put the spotlight on you, Sandy. 
sorry about that. I think it was accidental. Oh. <laughs> sorry about that. No worries. No worries. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. I'm looking around for raised hands. Andy, do you see, any, see anybody busily working in their window? No? Oh, Andy, you're muted. I'll go ahead, Cynthia. Oh, there we go. Found you. <laughs> this is a little swatch that I'm doing. Uh, and I believe it's linen stitch. It's from an old um, Barbara Walker book. And they call it the woven tweed stitch. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. Two colors, two rows, and then you switch. That's really pretty. Nice. Thank you, Barb. Feel the heat. Come over this way. You feel the heat. All right. Not, not this far. Anybody else? Oh, we'll have to. Me. Prepare. I don't oh. know how to raise my hand. I see you, Katie. I see you. Hang on here. I just learned on Facebook or something, when you use these hair things, you can, you can secure your ends. Perfect. So they don't go rolling everywhere. Either <laughs> end, this is, I'm pulling from the inside for this, but if you pull from the outside, you can do it too. Right. What a great idea. Thank you so much for sharing. Not my idea, but I saw it and bought a whole set of 120 because, <laughs> you know, there's, there's got to be at least that many rolling around here. And you, yeah, for sure. You've got a sizable stash of rolled, rolled yarns. Yes. Thank you so much, Katie. There you go. Anybody else? You can just wave at the camera. I've got my gallery view up and I'm, I've got my you know, eyes watching for anybody who's making motion. I do have one more. All right, Karen. And then I saw, uh, Kathy, I saw you waving. So I'll, we'll come back to you. This is Summer, uh, S-O-M-M-E-R-K-N-U-S out of Emma's Yarn. It is just a great little top. That's beautiful. That beautiful? You're almost done. Almost done. Perfect. I was away at the beach for, uh, at the lake really, for a month. So I got a lot of things started, but nothing finished because when they got big, I couldn't work on them anymore. Right, right. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm going to go find Kathy at Yarn Harbor because I thought I saw her wave at the camera. Let me just find you here, Kathy. I do have a project sitting next to me. Ooh. This is. Gansey tunic out of Beth Brown Renzel's book, Knitting Gansies. It goes to, to about your knees and I'm to my armpits. <laughs> That's a lot of knitting. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Kathy. All right. I have a project that I recently finished. It's it's just called a two by two um hat. And uh, I added the um, pom-pom. It wasn't designed to have a pom-pom, but I didn't like the top without it. So it fits my granddaughter and it fits me. So I don't know who's going to wear it, but. Perfect. That's the joy of ribbing, isn't it? It fits so many people. That's right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wesley. That's gorgeous. I love that you made your pom-pom. <laughs> yeah, it, it adds. Some people don't like them, but I think it adds to the hat. Good job. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Sure. All right, Andy, we got four minutes left. Do you want to use that time for uh, any kind of housekeeping, or shall we keep looking for show and tell? Um, I can get, so yeah, let's do a little bit more show and tell. I probably right. have like maybe a minute and a half or two of housekeeping. Okay. I, I, Pat Moore, do you... Pat, do you see me? I, I see you with needles in your hands. Do you mind if we uh, ask you what you're working on? Oh, she's going to hold it up here. There we go. So, Pat, you're muted. Oh, it's a baby booty. 
adorable. Thank you. Yeah. I make a lot of baby things. That's lovely, Pat. All right. It's not finished. It's still at the still at this stage. <laughs> Cute. Cute. That's so good. That's great. All right. And I can hear somebody's uh, unmuted mic. Just such, all right. So we will be muting all the mics in a little bit uh, and uh, keeping them muted during the presentation to ensure that background noise doesn't interfere with the recording. Okay. okay, if you guys can take over admitting for a minute or two, I will um, chat. We're so glad to have all of you joining us today. We're up to 125, so it's about half of what we normally have. So we'll see. Hopefully people are coming in from the heat. So I don't know if you're all bothered by the heat, but anyway, we trust you're having fun. You must be because we're having so much fun. Is everybody um, being able to access the uh, YouTube channels after the fact if you want to? If you haven't and you've been having trouble with that, you want to um, email hello at fibersidechats.com and we will get that fixed up and figure out what's going on. But I think they're all loaded at this point. Also, the prizes. Uh, we've had a few questions about prizes. Um, people haven't been connected yet. So we have to pull this information from three different databases. So if you can, if your name has been called and you have not received an email to confirm your address, you want to um, send an email to info at craftworkscoop.com. And Cheryl just popped that into the chat for us. So info at craftworkscoop.com. If you have not received an email confirming your address, um, if you have, a lot of the, the prizes are going by, I guess it's priority slow boat or something. So it could be up to six days. Um, <laughs> Laura's laughing. Um, so if you, you know, if you're wondering about it, especially week one and two folks, you want to go ahead and shoot me an email at info at craftworkscoop.com. And um, I can pull up the tracking information and find out where it is. A few of you, if you responded late, that has gone over into the next week's set of boxes and stuff. So just to let you know about that. We are on three o'clock, so we are going to get started here. And um, just want to say thank you. Everybody will be muted. And we are good. So again, we're so happy to see so many of you here. This is being recorded. So if you prefer not to be recorded, you want to go ahead and um, click your stop video and turn your camera off. And these recordings will be posted on YouTube for review by, pay, by everybody later if they want. And so we have started doing, um, admit, doing the pre-show as well so everybody can be inspired by all the, the show entails. So we are going to be visiting four shops today, Four Pearls Yarn Shop in Winter Haven, Yarn Harbor in Duluth, Minnesota, Yarn on Front by Southwest Michigan, and Yarn and Honey in Great Falls, Montana. And after those presentations, we'll be pulling names for today's winners. And again, if you have not received a confirmation on your address, you want to send an email or check your junk folder as well. Um, the email will be coming from info at craftworkscoop.com. So we are going to turn it over to Laura at Four Pearls. She has is one of our folks helping us by bringing the website to us and is maintaining that, answering registrations and all of your questions. So a huge welcome to Laura and her team. Hello from Florida. Thank you, Andy. It's been um, a lot of fun working with you and Kai Wynn and Gail and, and Cynthia. We've 
we've had a lot of fun this summer. So thank you. Um, my shop is called Four Pearls and it is named for my four children. And they have really grown up in the store. I opened 12 years ago because I really missed my knitting community in Michigan when I moved to Florida. And we are located right outside of Disney World in the same town as Legoland. So we get a lot of people coming through our area and we have a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things that um, I feel make my shop special. Um, it really, really truly is a family shop. My husband left his job eight years ago and joined me. He is the yarn husband. So he's going to be throwing things into the chat box for me while I talk. And if you come in the store or if you call the store, you will probably see or talk to him. Um, my daughters, Aspen and Emma started their own yarn line. It's called Emma's yarn. And I'll be showing, um, off a lot of that in my short little 15 minutes. Um, they sell strictly through LYSs. They grew up in the yarn shop. So they really truly believe that the LYS is the backbone of everything, knitting, crocheting, weaving. So you can only buy their yarn through an LYS. And I know there's a couple of them, um, a couple of the shops on this crawl that carry it. So I'm going to be showing off a lot of that. I am, I also own the Love and Leche Lotion Bar Company with my son, John Paul. We bought it from a few years ago when John Paul graduated from college and wanted to join the family. I don't know if you can see it, but you may have seen these two. They've been around for a long time. They were one of our favorites at home and in the shop. So when the, when David was ready to retire, we, we took it on, but the bars are all natural. These ones have sheep on them. I don't know how well you can see on the screen. And they smell really good. And he recently came out with a new little lip balm. It's a totally biodegradable little lip balm. And he is having a sale on his website this weekend because it's his birthday weekend. So I encourage you to check out loveandleche.com as well. Um, I have another son, the fourth Pearl, and he is high school aged. So you'll see him in the shop, maybe winding your yarn, ringing you up, or he's in the dye studio with his sisters labeling Emma's yarn. So when it's labeled crooked, it's probably his fault, but it's fine. And then over the last 12 years, I've added a lot of other people to my family in the form of yarnistas. And a bunch of them are hanging out with me right now, making me nervous while I talk, <laughs> but they're knitting. And so I'm going to show off patterns that they've written and that's what I'm going to do. So the first one that I'm going to show is from our yarnista, Emily Kurtz, and this is her very first pattern and it's a blanket and we have a little knit along going on with it right now. So I'm going to have them come in here, come show them off, come in this way. <laughs> I'm going to have them come show off their blankets, but this is Emily and this is her finished blanket that we have here in the shop. It's knitted in a DK weight. Um, it uses Emma's simply spectacular DK and it's a really fun way to use lots of DK mini skeins. So it's called the color squish. So Emily is knitting it in um, last year's small last day. year's small -a day set. So a small -a day set is um, our is Emma's advent set, um, and so she's knitting it in last week's colors. We have it in a DK weight and a fingering weight, and then um, twenty twenty. This is another small -a day set that Marianne is knitting. She's not coming into the screen, but oh. and then oh, let me show off yours too. That's just hilarious. And then this is just a bunch of random smalls, but look how different they all are. And then here's so Katrina's with the theme pack. Oh yes. And Katrina's just getting started on hers. This is knit out of one of our theme packs. So you can use a little theme pack to knit these. They're just little color collections. This is what this will become mm -hmm. this. So very pretty, very pretty. So I'm super proud of Emily. It's her very first pattern. It's called this color squish blanket and it's half off on Ravelry right now. Um, and we also have a bunch of kits that we already put together for it. Oh, I'm just going to hand this to my lovely assistant. <laughs> um, the next pattern that I want to show you is also brand new and it's by Callie Monster. It's right here. It's called the um, Fort Collins 
And Callie is not a Yarnista, but she calls herself Emma's second mother. So she designs a lot of patterns in Emma's yarn. This one's done in their super silky base, which is really lovely for shawls. It has a lot of nice drape. Thanks, Katrina. <laughs> Uh, we have kits. Yeah, the silk, the silk is so nice. This is a fingering weight silk. It's super drapey, comes in like 130 colors. It's crazy. And um, that's why we like to put kits together so that we can organize those colors for you. But we have kits for this on the website and it's called the Collins, Fort Collins shawl. And the pattern is half off on Ravelry. It's by Callie Monster. I'll put that in the chat. The next little special fun thing I wanna show you is this was a collaboration between all of us here at the shop. Um, Emily, in, in addition to writing patterns and being a fantastic knitter, put together these little holiday bundle kits. She sewed these clutches in Rifle Paper Company's fabric, got two different fabrics. And Marianne designed a cowl it's called the celebration cowl. It's just a cute little cowl. And then Emma dyed a bunch of minis. And John Paul made the chapsticks. And all of them are packaged inside one of these little holiday bundles. So it really was a fun little group project. There's a coupon code inside for the pattern to download that pattern for free. Um, did I say that Marianne wrote the pattern? Marianne is our color expert at the shop. And when you see all the kits that we do on the website, Marianne has been involved in that. So she has lots of color combos for the shawl put together on the site too. But we're really, we're really uh, happy about our cute little bags. So you can knit the cowl, carry your bag. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is a pattern that I recently um, released this weekend and it's called the Collins Top. I'm wearing one right now. I originally designed it in this new yarn from um, Dream and Color. It's called, what's it called? Goat, well, goat something, lamb and goat. <laughs> and it's super soft, but the Collins Tee, it's a top-down yoke. It uses the same stitch pattern as the Collins cowl. I first designed this cowl and then my oldest daughter, the first pearl, Aspen, asked me to make it into a tee for her. So I made it into a tee for her. The one I'm wearing is knit just in two colors. This one's knit in four colors. And, but Katrina is wearing She's going to come in here as wearing one that we did in seven colors. So Katrina picked her favorite colors of smalls. Bright. I like bright. She likes bright. And we put kits together, of course, for this. And she inspired me to knit one as well in bright, happy colors. So we're going to be almost twins. Yay. Pink. <laughs> and yeah. We've had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, this is another one that's knit up. This is in the Jackie O combo. It's a little wrinkly because it was in my suitcase. I just got back from a trip and I wore it. But it's also knit in seven colors of Emma's yarn. And then I have one more that's kind of fun. This one is knitted using a skein of self-striping yarn. Um, we used Yearth, is it called? Oh, Earth, Earth yarns, right? Unique is the self-striping, and then we just paired it with a solid um, background. So lots of options. We put together kits with the Emma's yarn, of course, and you can use the self-striping. You can do it in just two colors. We use a speckled background and a solid for this one from Lobby Amami. It's these colors here that I'm wearing. So speckly as the main color, solid as the contrast in that one. Laura, there's a couple, excuse me, there's a couple questions. <clears throat> Jane wants to know, do you carry those colors? I think maybe of the earth in that case. And yeah. Wendy is wondering again, what is the name of that pattern? 
Okay, the pattern is called the Collins T, and it is available on Ravelry. It's half off right now through the weekend because it's newly released. Um, yes, we have kits put together for the one that Katrina's wearing and the one in the mannequin behind me. Those are Emma's yarn kits, and JD will pop that link into the chat for you right now. Um, we have a huge collection of Labia Mami in the uh, super sock is what I knitted this one in. So you can find that on the website as well. JD can throw that link in. And then we also have a ton of earth yarn, which is the self-striping one. So, so lots and lots of options on that one. And if you want help, you can email me, Laura at fourpearls.com, or you can call the Arnie says JD can throw that information in the chat too. And we will, we'll have a ton of fun picking out your colors for you, <laughs> whether you like it or not. No, you'll love it. Um, okay. Any other questions about the tea? Oh, you're right. You're right. The Collins tea was on sale till August 6th. I'm going to extend that. I'll extend that through the end of the weekend. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. So it'll be on, it'll, it'll still work. The link will still work. Um, the next thing that I want to show you, have time to show you is a pattern by another yarnista and tell me how to say this. Day bisou. Day bisou. It means little kisses. <laughs> and this hat was designed by Andrea Cruz, who is one of our yarnistas and it was knitted in Emma's bodacious bulky just takes one skein, but I wanted to show you some pretty colors. Yeah. Yeah. The pattern looks like little kisses. So I don't know how much detail you can see, but that pattern's also on Ravelry written by Andrea, a yarnista. And we topped it with one of our faux pom-poms, which we have it there. I see some questions about the Four Pearls yarn truck. So yes, we have a yarn truck and we fill it with all kinds of goodies and we take it to areas that don't have yarn shops or we partner with a yarn shop and bring it to them. Um, it is not operating right now. We closed it in the pandemic and we just haven't brought it back yet. But when we do, it will be in our newsletter and we, we have a lot of information in our newsletter. So I'll have JD, JD can pop that in the chat or you can find it on our website, fourpearls.com under our contact page and sign up for our newsletter. And then we'll let you know when the yarn truck is coming back out. No coupon code for the Collins T. It's just a straight, um, straight sale on that 50% off. You don't need a code. Thank you, Laura. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hope everybody chat, keep your questions going and we can continue to answer them in the chat. So our next uh, stop is going to be Yarn Harbor. Kathy and her team at Yarn Harbor offer a welcoming creative yarn shop located in Duluth, Minnesota, entrance to the North Shore of Lake Superior. They have a wide selection of yarns and accessories, and their target is to inspire and help you find just the right project. So welcome, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us today, giving us your Sunday afternoon. And thank you, everyone behind the scenes who are making this happen. You are much appreciated. So Yarn Harbor has been around for a long time, since 1999. Um, I bought it in 15. I'm going to share you my screen and show you a little... Uh, tour. We're open today and there's a few things going on. So we're going this route instead. Um, we are, we like to consider ourselves a, a non judgmental, no right and wrong kind of place and embrace everyone's different style, all in the same um, realm of helping you find what you need. For your projects. We're here in Lakeside in Duluth, Minnesota, just a stone's throw away from the lake. Here's a shot of um, the North Shore where we're near, and this picture was inspired for this yarn uh, that Madeline Tosh 
died for us um, that we're pretty excited about. We have it in a few bases. This is a shot in summer in Duluth, Minnesota. Beautiful, beautiful place. And then there is winter. And this is what the um, beach looks like here. And indeed, the next shot, it is like walking on the moon, on the beach. And so we knit a lot um, in the wintertime. And Jameson is definitely one of my favorites. I love it for color work. Um, I will have all the links to these projects um, in the follow-up for sure. I am wearing another version of this vest, the Crudence from Usolda. Here's the Wool Week hat this year. Um, so it's a free pattern on Ravelry, and this is the Jameson inspired colorways. We have kits for this in this um, colorway selection as well as others. And we love to put together kits of different um, Jameson hats and things. Excited to have the Shetland Wool Adventure Journal. The fourth one's coming out. This best was from the second um, journal. So again, um, there's our selection of the Shetland that we have in the shop and to span over to the Up North Fiber. Um, we just got in another uh, batch of this that I'm excited about, but this is a dyer up in Grand Marais, Minnesota, and she uses all organic dyes, uh, organic yarn bases, excuse me, and natural dyes. So I'm happy to carry her uh, yarn. There's our Madeline Tosh selection. Um, human kindness you'll have to check that out and then there's the lakes uh lakeside three irish girls is local to duluth minnesota and we do have a number of um duluth inspired colorways as well as lavender loon she's in northern minnesota so we have a bunch of her yumminess as well uh, knitted wit is uh one of my favorites are national parks um, are still in stock there. And Blue Sky Alpaca is a Minnesota company, and they had a new yarn come out a couple years ago last year, the Woolstock. That's the Woolstock Light that I'll show you some samples of later, and then some Malabarigo sock there with their new um, base on the bottom. This um, pattern was the Point Gray Tunic. Um, and it was a knit along this last spring that we did. And around the shoulder of it is the Ziggy Shawl by Hohi. Um, I just did three lace repeats in that one. And you can see it has a really beautiful bloom. It is the fingering weight is a single ply, 100% wool, hand wash. Um, and it's a pleasure to work with. It's 50 grams at 218 yards. There's the worsted weight. It comes in 150 gram skeins for um, sweaters as well as 50 grams, which is great to get the color work in. And then these yummy bundles that we love to play with. Uh, we do have a lot of pattern support for these bundles and the colors change seasonally. This kit's available. It's the Ephraim Wrap. So that uses a bundle as well as a solid. This beautiful cowl is a free pattern on Ravelry. And then the hat is the Tahoe hat that uses a bundle as well. Um, the Here's one of our kits for the Grisham wrap. It's been very popular. It's, it's really nice, big size to wrap up and cuddle with. And I love the different stitch definitions with the different colors. So this is definitely a favorite. The um, cabled sweater comes in sizes up to 5X, which is amazing. Sutton's Bay sweater on Ravelry. We'll have all the links for you as well. The uh, Corn War pullover is a great first sweater fyi and then the cowl is with a bundle here's our lopi selection this is the let lopi we have little lopi and alafas this sweater is the saga it's, um made out of the let lopi which is super fun to play with colors um 
And then I would be remiss if I didn't mention the wool blankets that um, the Lopillon company produces. And I do have a few of those in stock that I wanted to show you. Um, they're wonderful, lightweight, um, and breathe. I brought one camping last weekend and, and it was great. Um, this is a Norwegian yarn. This is Rama stricken garn. We do have some funnel garn as well. Um, some sport weight from Juniper Moon, the Patagonia, an organic wool. And then we have the five ply uh, frangipani. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, that we love in the shop and it's wonderful for texture and knitting gansies there's beth brown Rensel's book knitting gansies that's a favorite here's a low, little taste of rowan yarns um felted tweed is one of our faves um as well as the kid silk haze and uh, the color in the felted tweed has the, the blending of colors, which is fun. Wonderful, um, bulky yarn, the tweed haze. That sweater went up quick and it is light as a feather and super, super warm. Here's some super bulky yarn. Uh, Rasta's big uh, and up north in Minnesota. And who doesn't love a quick, satisfying project with a single ply merino wool? I don't know. Here's a, a little DK selection. The bottom is all sueño, one of my favorites. Um, here's some Rios and Chunky in the Malabrigo yarn that we carry. And we do love our uh, coconuts accessories. What can I say? They, they are a favorite. Um, the stitch markers and then the zubber ball crazy. I had to get in there in a little shot. Katrinkles. We have some um, custom stuff. This is a local bag producer, Frost River, who made those bags for us. Um, these are some colorways from three Irish girls. This color is Yarn Harbor. That one is Land of the Loon. And this one is North Shore. We do a lot. Oh, yeah. Here's some closer shots of the Up North Fiber Company. Again, so her organic base, we carry it in fingering weight and worsted. It is really soft. It has a really soft hand. And I love the colors. We do a lot of classes um, at Yarn Harbor in store and online from Choose Your Own Project, Tunisian Crochet. This is our basic 101 cowl um, and a class favorite, knitting socks. Who doesn't want to know how to knit socks? Here's our um, 101 cowl pattern that Brenna made up. And that's just a little taste of our shop. Um, if you sign up for our newsletter, you do receive a coupon the month of your birthday for 15% off a yarn purchase. And then for y'all, I have 15% off a purchase through next Sunday. And the coupon code is Fibercrawl. And I also wanted to uh, let you know we're encouraging people to get out and vote on Tuesday as our primary in Minnesota. So on Tuesday, um, I have quite a big sale bin area right now. And, um, you know, it's the end of the season. We like to change things up. So we're going 50% off of all of the yarn in the sale bin. That'll be in, in our website. Really super easy to find. No co uh, coupon code necessary. And yeah, that's yarnharborduluth.com. So I have a couple things to show you. I wanted to show you the, the few different bases that we have from Lavender Loon. Um, her boucle, which um, is 90% superwash merino and 10% nylon in this slub. It makes a fabulous summer t-shirt, believe it or not. They're really gorgeous, just a plain um, t-shirt 
and let the yarn do all the work for you. It's been uh, a favorite. And then she also, we have a little bit of the baby Surrey alpaca and silk. And then here is one of her colors, lavender loon yarn. She's um, in the Brainerd area in Minnesota. And then I have a couple of the three Irish here line to show you. This is Land of the Loon, probably one of the most popular. And the Up North Fiber Company's colors. I think I love the, the natural dyes. FYI, with the natural dyes, um, even though she does set the color, she does recommend to um, set the color after you after you've knit and you go to um, she suggests to wet block it with a little just like a I call it a dash to get technical. It's about a tablespoon of vinegar to a gallon of water, and that's gonna set the dye so that it doesn't bleed. Um, always always worth it or anything, really, any hand dye, I think, especially when you're doing color work and you're um, mixing lighter colors and darker colors. I like to, to set the dye with a little bit of vinegar. Kathy, Cynthia yeah. here. There's two questions in the chat. Do you have time for two questions? Sure. Okay. The first one is, what was the first sweater that you showed? And is there a good first sweater? Yeah, the first the to for a beginner sweater, that was the one with the cowl from um wool from blue sky fibers in the wool stock. And the name of that is the Cromwell pullover. Thank you. Yeah, and that comes in extra small up to double extra large. Perfect. And then uh, there's another question. What are the wool blankets again? I think that might have been in the Lopi section. Yeah, the, the wool blankets come from Lopi um, and they weave them there in Iceland. Lopi is an Icelandic yarn, 100% um, Icelandic wool. It's, um, it's very bitey. It's not a soft yarn. Um, it's great for color work as well because the fibers tend to you know, grab together and um, people are definitely going to want to um, soak it in like a eucalyn wash. I, I prefer the eucalyn because it has a lot of lanolin in it. So it really softens things up nicely. Um, so I would recommend that. Not a lot of people can wear it next to their skin. So a lot of people, you know, have it as jackets or or wear turtlenecks or whatever under. Um, I am one of the weirdos who is who can wear it right next to my skin. So um, but there's a lot of people who who prefer something else because it does have that um, that bitey effect. But the blankets are pretty soft. They're lovely. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you great. very much. Everybody have any questions again, um, pop them in the chat and we will make sure that she gets some. So next up we have Yarn on Front. This is June and Sarah of Southwest Michigan's premier yarn shop, fostering community one skein at a time. So they offer curated yarns and inspiration to knitters and crocheters and are known for their expertly skilled staff and their wonderful smiles. Go ahead, take it away, ladies. Hi, everybody. I'm June. I'm Sarah. She's the EIC, the enabler in chief. She's really good at her job. <laughs> um, we're going to start off with a quick video, and we're in Dwajak, Michigan, in the lower southwest part of the state. We're going to give you a visual. Michigan, here we are, the palm. And this lovely bag, by the way, is from Knit from Michigan Woods, who follow her on Facebook. She's got a great line of Michigan totes, pouches, T-shirts. Look at this cute little knitting in the mitten T-shirts. <laughs> um, they're very popular here. So let's start out with a video. Let's see if I can do this the right way. Share content, screen, start, start. 
and optimize. This is, wait a minute, oops, here we go. I don't think we're getting sound this time, Sarah. In our window. Got it. Now we are, yep. get a lot of attention okay. and brings in quite a few people. We keep. We know. It says, good day to stay inside and play with yarn. Yep, it is. So you're hearing the voice of Sarah. You're going to meet her later this afternoon during our private call. So, welcome to Yarn on Turf. This is where you'll find inspiration. So come on in. We're open. Yikes. All right. Welcome to our cozy little shop. I'll just scan it one time. So when you walk in the shop, you are obviously on the other side of the window. And you will see, you'll be met with our DK and sport weight section. We have a lot of variety here, yarn bowls. You'll get to see those later this afternoon, up close and personal. Um, and on the wall here, we have our worsted and a little bit of chunky, our two biggest sellers, Blue Sky Fibers Woolstock and Rios do really well. We, um, we have some kits down here, crochet kits and other fun kits. And this beauty right here is a design called Pure Local by Nitarella. She's a Michigan designer and she did this with Woolstock from Blue Sky Fibers and it's absolutely gorgeous. One of my customers knit this as a test knit for her and has provided it on loan to us. So we're very grateful for that. We have made up kits. All the staff picked their own colors and we've made up kits and they've been doing very well. So, down our aisles are what we like to call most of our workhorse yarns. We've got Brocos, um, Cascade, Cascade Rowan, all the big names. Um, Chunky Town here, variety of chunky and super bulky weight yarns. You'll notice we have a lot of shop samples. We usually make a sample in every yarn we get in, so customers know how it's going to work up. We like to do things that are going to inspire and make you want to make them. So you'll always find something in here that you want to make. One of our biggest sellers for crocheters is Stylecraft Special DK. We carry all the colors. It's a wonderful acrylic yarn that is baby friendly. The wall here is our fingering weight wall. So we have a variety of non superwash wools and non sock yarn wools. And then we have a lot of fun sock yarn. Tell them how much you love to make socks, June. <laughs> I love to make socks. It's my favorite thing to make. And buying sock yarn is my favorite thing to do. What happens when I buy more yarn around here? The staff says, where are we gonna put that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We are challenged for space, for sure. So this is uh, Baby Central over here. We've got some Broco Vintage, some Plymouth, um, just a lot of fun yarns here. And then we're doing the Kelborn Woolens Year of Hats. So we have 2019 and we're working on 2022 Year of Bulky Hats. That's been a lot of fun. Customers love that. And then finally, oh, our glass is our, <laughs> she wasn't supposed to get in the frame. Our glass is our cottons and cotton blends. And then we have our notions wall and racks over there. So here is our shop. Oh, over here, Coffee Central, Tea Central, and Computer for Customers, where we spend a lot of time on Ravelry, helping to inspire you. And the best part of the shop is right here. This is the heart of the shop. Here, magic happens. We have an open door, open table policy, so you can come in any time of the day and you can get all the help you need. We have five very talented staff here that are knowledgeable 
in crochet and knitting. There's probably nothing you can bring us that we can't, can't figure out. And then this is as far as we're taking this tour because the chaos through those doors is my office. We have a staff lounge at the back and we have the storage room. Oh, speak of us when you're traveling, put us on your itinerary, stop in to your own front and get to know us. We'd love to get to know you. Our philosophy here, or our motto is, we are building community, fostering community, actually, one stain at a time. We'll see you soon on the fiber crawl. Thanks. All right, let's see. Get back to you guys. Stop share. Hi, hope you like that. I uh, can. Can you guys hear us? Okay. Wait a minute. All right. Can you hear us? All right, I'm gonna assume that's a yes. Yes, um, yes. Yes, volume is great. Thank, Thank you. Now we hear you guys. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna to do today, because they don't have a dot com site for you to purchase online at the moment, we just wanted you to know we were here in southwest Michigan. Put us on your travel itinerary. If you're in the area traveling, make sure to stop by. We'd love to meet you. Next year we should have a dot com. Um, and be more have a more of an online presence. In the meantime, join us on Facebook, join our group. We have a lot of fun in our group. We do a lot of events. And our purpose today is to show you some Michigan local designers. And that's what we're gonna do right now. I know we're running out of time fast. So we're gonna start with Kendra Yearin. And we're gonna start with this very first shawl and it's called the Kelly shawl. There's uh, the Kelly shawl, graceful, graceful warrior. warrior. This one's really special to us because Kelly also works here and she has gone through a very difficult year. And Kendra just um, released this pattern live on Facebook last night. Um, and it's a graceful warrior. She says exists to inspire, challenge and uplift the human experience with self-realized empowerment and celebrates the awareness and practice of choice. So this one's for our friend Kelly, her best friend, and we absolutely love it. And it is a stunner, look at this. So all of Kendra's patterns will be 50% off now through August 15th, I believe on Ravelry. So this is the first one. Kendra, thank you, beautiful work. And then we have um, the knit. Knitting friends are best friends. So this shawl came about because a friend of Kendra's had some pretty yarn and asked her to design a shawl. So she was designing this and she sent these, she sent the um, pattern in bits to her. So every time she'd uh, create a new part of the pattern, she'd text it to her. So she said this was literally a, um, what did she say? Mystery oh, a mystery knit along for her friend. And this was the end result. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Looks like fun. Looks like fun. Knitting friends are best friends. What I like about Kendra's patterns is that they're just a good knit. Um, there's some interest in there with the different stitches, but you can really just kind of chill out and like get in the zone and, and knit away on it. So no matter which pattern you choose, you know that you're going to be in for a good, good time. Okay. And then this one, actually, yep. where's the tag? Here's the tag. So it takes. Um, I should have told you this on the first one. Three colors of sport weight yarn, 100 grams each. We'll do the trick. And the Kelly Shaw takes two um, skeins of fingering weight yarn, 100 grams each. Okay, so now we have Lake Michigan Trachilium. And this was inspired by the Lake Michigan Trillium. It's a flower and it blooms over the summertime. They're rich in nectar, attract birds and butterflies. And they're just really pretty. So this beautiful shawl takes, let's see, um, it takes two skeins of fingering weight yarn. And it has some very subtle ruching in it. What Kendra likes to do is make things big. And that's why we love her shawls. They're lightweight. They're big. You can wrap them around your neck a few times. And they're always pretty easy knits. She's got quite an eye. So this one, Lake Michigan Trillium. Then we have Round Lake Ripples. This is quite gorgeous. 
this is named after one of the lakes here in this area. There's a um, area called Sister Lakes, Michigan, and this is one of 10 lakes in Sister Lakes, Michigan. Round Lake Ripples, it takes a mini pack. It's a great uh, fading gradient mini pack and a skinny yarn, and then just some leftover something you have to make it pop. So this is called Round Lake Ripples. And Kelly knit this for the shop. It's beautiful. I picked the colors. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have Enola Holmes, a study in pearls. This was made using three skeins of Mad Hatter from uh, Wonderland Yarns. And this is probably the most popular pattern in the shop right now. It's just fun. It's a, a worsted weight. It's squishy. And it's free on Ravelry. And we love it. Actually, yeah, I adore this. We do. Sarah tries to take it home on a regular basis. Yeah, we wear it in the shop a lot. Mm -hmm. um, then we have There and Back Again. This is one in a series of four shawls she did from The Hobbit's Tale. And look how fun this is. This one is Tom Bombadil. And it's funky and it's fun. And look at the colors. Just stunning. So let's see. What does this take? Um, three skeins, 100 grams, fingering weight yarn. Have some fun with color. She certainly did. It's gorgeous. Very squishy. Then we have, she just finished this. This just went. No, nope, this is actually, this is her first pattern. This is called Dusk on the Bluff. And it's just a single um, skein of fingering weight yarn. It's got some beautiful lace work. I know we're going through this pretty fast. We have a lot to show you. Um, this is fun. Any any skein of fingering weight yarn. This is her first, first uh, pattern. And then we have, oh, this one's a lot of fun. I love the 80s. <laughs> Who doesn't love the 80s? Look get, at this. Get your big hair out. <laughs> Look at this. Um, yeah, the big hair, Aquanet, whatever it takes. I love the 80s. This takes, uh, let's see, two great, two skeins of fingering and two minis or just a little bit of leftover sock yarn. Squishy, fun, colorful. Do your own thing with the color. And then finally from Kendra, we have the brightest witch of our age. This is a free pattern. It's a cowl. And she made this with earth yarns. She wanted a cowl that was the texture of the socks, the Hermione's everyday socks. So she was inspired by those socks to make this cowl. So this takes a skein of earth yarn and it is free on Ravelry. And it was just, just released. So that was Kendra. We're proud of her. She's local. She's a big part of the shop and she's got quite a few patterns on Ravelry. So please check her out. 50% off until um, August 15th. Ladies, you are out of time, unfortunately, but we'll have the listing in the YouTube channel so people can um, get to see the other wonderful Laura Fox, yep, from Fox designers Thank that you. you have. Thank yep. you. Thanks so much. And finally, we will be visiting Yarn and Honey, and they are located in Great Falls, Montana, specializing in all things knit crochet, and stitching. They offer great service and local products, including honey. Take it away, Laura. Hello, can you all hear me? We can. Okay, so I will get my um, PowerPoint started. Can you see the PowerPoint? We can carry. It's all okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for um, welcoming me into this and thank you for attending today. Uh, my name is Carrie and I own Yarn and Honey and I've owned it for three years. Um, just coming up on our anniversary and we are in Great Falls, Montana. So Great Falls is kind of north central Montana. We are midway between Glacier National Park and Yellowstone National Park. Um, so right on I-15 and we love being here in this uh, kind of rural community, um, city with surrounding of, of uh, 
farm and ranch. So two popular questions that we get for us is yarn and honey. So why, why did you name it yarn and honey? So first of all, both make life sweeter. That's our title, our tagline, and we believe it. Uh, it also is a nod to my family who have been beekeepers in this area for over 60 years, almost 60 years, sorry. And um, we provide local honey for lots of different products, such as bread, beer, bacon, um, many different things. So we're an ingredient for that. Um, So the second question we get is, do we sell honey? And yes, we do sell honey in the store as well. So a lot of times we'll get people that come in and just go, hey, I wanna buy some honey. And we have that available. So here is Montana's best smooth honey. So this is my family's local honey. We collect it from a hundred mile radius around Great Falls. This is an alfalfa clover honey. And um, it has a light color, as you can tell, and a light flavor. So it's a very popular thing. Um, so that's kind of why we are yarn and honey and um, where we started from. Uh, here's some other information and it is our website. So our website is yarnandhoney.com. We have a Facebook and an Instagram. Uh, and also the discount code for today is Fiberside Chat 20. And that's a 20% discount until August 15th. So you can feel free to use that. Um, one disclaimer. We just went live with our website this week. So um, we are so excited to have it, uh, but I know that not everything, not all of our products are on there. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be some issues. So if you run into any problems, please contact us and let us know. But we believe um, it should be up and running pretty well. All the items you'll see today are on our website and um, you can find those there. So now we're going to talk about, so yarn and honey, and Andy explained, you know, we are all things stitch, uh, knit, and crochet. We do all of those aspects. And so the store in Great Falls has been around for over 30 years. And the first time I came into the store was because I was cross-stitching. And I was able to find the fabric that I wanted, the stitching, uh, the floss, everything that I needed. And so we still carry those products. Um, and today we have our stitch bag kit, which has been one of our most popular items. Uh, this is the shepherd's bush pattern. It is uh, a bag that where you can stitch onto it. Uh, it's a nice project sized bag uh, or your cross stitch into it. Uh, the kit includes the bag, the pattern, all of the floss needed to finish and also some needles. Uh, that is on our website. And later this week, we will be uh, showing the other bags that are on that we have. And uh, then we also need to uh, show and we'll have those on our website for bags and the patterns. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so next we're going to focus on our mountain mountain. Mountain Colors. Mountain Colors is an independent dyer that has been in Montana for over 20 years. And this is really the first dyer, independent dyer that I was introduced to and um, have made many different items, sweaters, uh, shawls from them and uh, really love their colors and their kits. So we have three kits from them today. The first is the S-curve shawl and uh, it is actually shown right here as well. And what this is, is if you love short rows, this is the shawl to do. Um, if you really wanna get good at short rows, this is the shawl to do. <laughs> so you have 11, or you have 11 uh, small skeins of yarn. You can see the colors, so the blue, purple, and the top, the rainbow, and the autumn, which is sitting next here. Um, all of those, are in a, they originally were put in with a, with their twizzle foot, which is a silk wool blend. Due to supply issues, um, they will be sent out with a tangle foot, which is their sock yarn. I do have just two or three left in the silk wool, uh, but most of those will be sent out in the tangle foot. Here is their 
local yarn store day uh, 2022 kit that they put out. This is the Powder River Cowl. This is made with one skein of their mohair or mountain frost, which is their silk mohair and their sock yarn put together. Uh, beautiful uh, cowl. And I have that also in here in the teal. You'll see it as well. So we have those in three different colors. And the third kit is the transition shawl. And I'm wearing the transition in the blues. Um, I also have the rainbow one behind me. Uh, there are three color ways in this. And so we have the blues, the sunset is in the uh, right corner, and then the rainbow is in the bottom left. The one thing I really like about Mountain Colors uh, is that when they give you a kit, you use every piece of the yarn that they provide you. Uh, while you're making this transition shawl, it was very easy to play yarn chicken and just sit there and try and figure out how far can you get and how much of the yarn can you put into the shawl. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. You know that you're going to use everything that they give you. Um, all of these kits, we do have kind of a limited supply in the store, but Mountain Colors has assured me that they will dye up anything that we need. So you may have to wait a couple of weeks to fulfill, for us to fulfill the order, but please place the order and uh, we will get those to you. Our next, here are the, sorry, here are the three shawls. So this is a better uh, display of the S-curve shawl. And you can see all of those beautiful uh, short rows in there. So now we are going on to our Mountain Metal Wool. Mountain Metal Wool is not a Montana dyer, but they are what we consider local. So for local, uh, they're out of Buffalo, Wyoming, and they have a spinning mill there. Um, so they buy local wool. They process, dye, and spin all of their yarns at, at, at the facility. If you ever get a chance to get through Buffalo, Wyoming, I would recommend stopping in. They have a, a, a self-serve tour that basically is the mezzanine of their facility and you can walk out and watch them prepare all of their wool. Um, this is the mountain or the trio cowl kit. We have this available on the site. And we have um, the three skeins that you see will come in it. And this is their tweed sport. Their tweed sport is um, also the same yarn that Andrea Maori used for her DRK everyday sweater. So I'm sure you've seen it around. Uh, this is, the kit is on the site. The yarn will be on the site in the next couple of days as well. So we will make sure that you get a chance to see that. Our last item is our Ube crochet cowl. Um, this is a great cowl. It takes two skeins of Queensland Perth. And um, once again, our Queensland Perth, that, that yarn will be um, put on the website in the next day or two. The Ube shawl is a free pattern. And so you can go on and get that off of Ravelry. Basic granny squares. It's a lot of fun just to have, just to be able to see that. Uh, and I have that one, the better picture on there. So um, just a fun, different kit. So again, be patient, please, with our website. Um, we are trying our best and we will do whatever we can to make everything work out. We're hoping everything uh, falls into place and you find some items that you like. Um, if you want to be added to our email list, uh, you can go onto the website. You do have to go into the shopping cart, and at the bottom of the shopping cart is where the email you can be added to our email list. Some of the reasons you might want to be added to our email list. So we have two upcoming events. Uh, in September is our anniversary, so that's our three-year anniversary, and we will be playing bingo anniversary bingo all through September. And so we'll have a bingo card for you to fill out and then um, and we will do that for uh, online people as well and then there are prizes awarded for different levels of bingo in december we do our stocking stuffer event and that starts on december 1st and december 1st 
we start out and every day for 12 days, we do a new video where we show a new product or a product that maybe you haven't seen before that you can add to your stocking. Uh, we put those into your stocking and at the end of the 12 days, we put it all together and send it out to you. So it's a great way for you to do family, friends, uh, gift giving, or even uh, find that perfect item for yourself. So thank you to Gail and uh, Fiberside Chats for having us here. Um, it's been very wonderful to participate. And if there's any way that uh, we can help you or if there are any questions, please let us know. And also we will always call email you if the website does not work. We are very, we often have phone calls where we just walk people through, we try and send pictures. We're hoping the website will make that a little bit easier, but please don't hesitate to call and connect with us. Are there any questions? Carrie, do you want to stop sharing now so we can see your picture again? So here is the escrow shawl in the autumn colors um, and the transition shawl in rainbow, our powder river cowl, and this is a transition shawl in the blues. I do also have the um, trio cowl from Mountain Meadow as well. Carrie, some of the patterns are available separately, but some of them are not. So for that cowl that you just held up, the pattern is available in the kit. Is that correct? That is correct. And I missed the S. I think the transition and the powder river are both um, available with the kit. Perfect. Thank you. There aren't uh, there aren't other questions in the chat just yet. So I'll just uh, put an encouragement out to folks. Uh, anything you want to know? There are some lovely compliments, Carrie, that you'll have to look at later. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a wonderful presentation. My gosh, my road trip just got longer and longer. Wow. <laughs> All these different stops to make. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. But anyway, um, I know you're all waiting to see if you're a winner for this week. And in a moment, I'll turn it over to Laura. But just remember, if we have called your name in any of the announcements over the last four weeks, I think we're at. Uh, remember, if we've called your name and you've not received an email to confirm your mailing address, reach out to info at craftworkscoop.com and we will track it down and see where we're at. If you responded later and we've already sent that week's worth of prizes out, you will be attached to the next series of prizes that are going out. So um, we'll see you shortly. And Laura, go for it. All right. OK. Can I get a drum roll? No. <laughs> All right. We have this week, our winners are Barbara O'Connor, Dorothy Brown, Jane Lipman, Karen Martinez, Kelly Splain, Kelly Verdon, Kimberly Ross, Margaret Moore, Phyllis Tedisco, Rebecca Dodge, Sharon Millsap, and Cheryl Dodd Hansen. So congratulations if you are a winner. If you're not here in the chat, or if you know, just so you know, you don't have to be present to win. But if you are here, go ahead and shoot Andy over an email and confirm your address, and she'll get it shipped right out to you. So congratulations. Thank you all. Don't forget to watch for your Kaiwen. We'll be sending out a uh, recap email, a thank you email with the um, YouTube link in it. Feel free to watch anytime. And we hope to see you next week. We have One Kid You Not, Yarn Bar, Craftworks, and Stephen and Penelope will be joining us next week. Um, they were one of the few 
um, designers, if you will, makers that uh, requested to be part of this. So we're going to see how that works for everybody as well. So we hope to see you all next week. Same station. I'd say 3 p.m., but unless you're on the eastern coast, you'd be late. So <laughs> have a good one, everybody. Thank Bye you. Again. Thank Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.